everyone and thank you for joining us for another board and buster activity today in case you did not get to see the event we are making popsicles so i have two very like east and west ideas for you here um but just a quick rundown on the supplies if you didn't get a chance um what you're going to need is some paper cups here like i have this is what i'm going to be using but if you don't have these at home you can substitute for a muffin tin or um, an ice cube tray will work just as well. You're also going to need popsicle sticks. If you have these size, that's great. If you have the other kind, which are a little thicker, that's also okay. And you're going to need some pre-cut pieces of foil if, if you're gonna do you know, the cup variety. If not, you can do um, like a, one large strip of foil across your um, muffin tin or ice cube tray. And then um, you could also use cling wrap um, as a substitute. That will work just as well. So um, what we're gonna be doing first is watermelon pop. So I really like this one because if your kids have been eating popsicles nonstop, and I've heard this through the grapevine <laughs> through a couple friends, um, you might be totally over the fact that they're consuming that much um, sugar. So this watermelon one is really great in terms of like a natural kind of option. So you're just gonna need a few cups of pre-cut watermelon. Try to get as many of the seeds as you can out, but if not, they should um, blend up with your blender here. So we're gonna add this. And if you don't have a blender at home, I'm pretty sure because it is a mostly water-based thing, if you try real hard and believe in yourself, you could probably use a hand mixer or something. You're also going to add to that the lime juice. And this is going to be really important because it brings out all the flavors of the watermelon. And you can kind of really add like as much lime as you want. I found in the test kitchen that a few tablespoons is going to be great because we like the lime variety in our family. So we're going to do a few generous spoonfuls here. And then you're just going to pop your lid on here and hit. that's broken down into a nice liquid for us. So then um, you're just going to take your cups here and you're going to pour it in like pretty much as much as you think your kids or your family can handle. I'm going to kind of recommend you go a little bit halfway just because you don't want it to be too top heavy with the stick that you can't hold it but also if you have kids just so they can hold it and just as another um, you know idea if they can only eat so much, this is a good way to kind of portion control everything for them. So we're just gonna add this to our mix here. And I wanna show you the other varieties. So Nicole will film that for a second. I'll get the next bit of ingredients. I want to claim as my own invention. I made this or some variety of this when I was 12 and totally obsessed with the movie Now and Then. Have you guys seen it? It's a summer movie about um, a bunch of young girls. I think like in the early 70s, it's like a coming of age movie and they make a promise that summer to like always be there for each other when one of them needed. So in the movie, they made like a lot of Coke floats. So this variety, is a Coke float style pop. So you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna shove your vanilla ice cream. If you like chocolate, go for it. Use chocolate. And you're gonna shove it all the way at the bottom of the cup. And then you're going to take your Coca-Cola or your root beer. And you're gonna pour that over the top. I would even recommend 
recommend that it's fine if this goes flat because then it just makes it a little easier to pour and you don't have all that foam and everything in there. So we're gonna do that. Let me do a second one here. Because I have a little bit of coke left because how can we make a good video without me testing the product, okay? So we'll pour that in there. And then you guys don't need to see me cover all of these, so I will show you um, kind of how you stick the popsicle stick in. So I know a lot of videos will say like, oh, you can shove the stick right in. I didn't like doing that because I found that you ended up making a hole. So you're gonna kind of make just a little kind of tiny indent with a knife in the middle of your pre-cut foil piece. And then you're going to just cover so slightly. Try to center that. Cover the top. And then that pre-cut hole is gonna make it a little bit easier for you to shove your stick in. And then you're gonna line them all up like so. I put them in a um, loaf pan just because it was the perfect size and all six fit in there really well. And this is our finished product, so we'll show you that. This one I did with cling wrap like I talked about before. So this is our watermelon guy. And what I liked about the paper cups is like, if you wanna eat this like right on, you could just peel them off. And then you have a lovely watermelon style popsicle, which has a light limey taste to it. So that one's really good. And then our Coke loaf popsicle, which I did get to test out yesterday. It was quite good. Oops. Try to rip this. There we go. And then you have your Coke at the top your ice cream right there and maybe you're a person who's trying to like cut back on the soda a little bit this is good to have just a little taste of it and again you get that lovely coke flavor so this is really good and I'm kind of sad because maybe I could have been rich I don't know <laughs> but this is gonna be our last boredom buster for um, well, maybe the summer I think our last boredom buster at home at least so I want to take a quick second to thank my sister Nicole and my family for helping me out film these videos while we've been in quarantine and everything. The next group of videos that we're gonna have is going to be as part of our summer reading activities. So um, if you didn't see the event floating around, we're gonna put that in the event um, comment links here for you guys to sign up. And um, we encourage you to do that. It is online. If you have a hard time doing it, just call the desk and we'll sign up you um, or your child, no problem. And um, that's pretty much it. So this is popsicles. We hope that you guys enjoy this and I'm going to be going off to work to the library to get all your books and everything ready. And I did check. We do have that now and then um, movie if anybody wants to check that out. But we'll see you soon guys and take care and be well.